Hi, y'all. <laughs> Throughout this time, I have spoken to quite a few people and amazing people. People with lots of love in their hearts, people who have clear intention of wanting to see a better world and wanting to help people. And these people have shared with me how they, from time to time, fall into despair, hopelessness, in the cloud of depressions, in the wave of worthlessness. And I'm one of them. <laughs> I just want to let you all know that if we can embrace what's needed to be felt that is deeper than these ideas of lack of worthiness, these ideas of abandonment and, and feeling of depression, if we can just embrace it and go deeper in there and really know that there's nothing to be afraid of and learning to hold our own and yes there is to healthy time and space where you reach out to people where you ask people hey can you hold space for me and of course those people are going to be the ones that you trust but the key is that I wish for everyone, and I'm reminding myself as well, to know that hopelessness and despair are simply just ideas and they don't have to be true. We do not need to give power into them. And depression, grief, comes in waves and it's not to be resisted but it's just something to be felt most importantly not to be attached to the mental narratives that comes with it and this is when awareness comes in this is when that medicine of now medicine of being in the present moment comes in and medicine of hope and within hope Perhaps we do not need to know what's going to come next. We can also embrace that acceptance of knowing nothing. But yeah, I just want to let you all know that there is always hope. And if I'm here saying that, I know that you can do that too. Because um, yeah, depression and suicidal, I've danced with it for too long and now. Um, at the point where when it comes I realize that it is enough it doesn't serve me so you know, know that you are worthy otherwise you wouldn't be breathing otherwise you wouldn't be here otherwise you wouldn't exist and also the state of worthiness doesn't have to be attached to any achievement and conditioning and acceptance and validation by others and this I'm learning every day every, with everything that I do and always be generous to ourselves, take time to nurture your body, take time to cater to um, the emotion that arise and sit with them. Yeah, I know that even though you are feeling this in your space of aloneness, you are not alone. We are feeling it from time to time. So, yeah, sending you big love. <laughs> Take care.